Welcome back to the session on LaTeX. In this session, we will learn to create an unordered list, an ordered list and a description list. Unordered list are nothing but bulleted list. We can create them using the itemized environment. The syntax is that you begin the environment, write your points using the slash item command. Here, each item represents a point in the list. Ordered list are numbered list. We create them using the enumerate environment. Rest of the commands remain the same. Description list conveys a bit more information for each item in the list. Description is the environment and the command slash item takes an argument in box brackets. Now, let us see a demo of itemize, enumerate and description list. I am switching to text studio. We have some sections created here. Now, let us create an itemized list under standard color section. We write slash begin itemize and we write red, blue and green. We build and run. There you go. We have an itemized list of colors. Let us add some more colors slash item yellow black. We build and run. Some more colors got added here. Great. Now, let us create an enumerate list under more colors slash begin enumerate and we write colors like maroon, cyan, brown and plum. We build and run. There you go. We have four colors. We can reorder these items within the list whenever we want. The numbering will change accordingly. Now, let us add a description list under description list slash begin description. We have our label to be entered as input devices colon and we write the description as keyboard and mouse knowing that these are input devices slash item our label as output devices and we delete the description and write printer and monitor. We build and run. So, we have a description list of input devices and output devices containing keyboard, mouse, printer, monitor. Well, there are cases when we would want to nest a list. That means, a list inside another list. Let us modify the standard color example. Let us add some more items under the color red and some under the color blue. We come here and we write slash begin itemize and we write slash item brick red slash item post office red and we come here and write slash item blood red and under the itemize blue we create an enumerate list slash begin enumerate and we write sky blue and we write firuza. Sorry to digress, but firuza means turquoise gemstone and that is the reason I have placed it under the color blue. Let us get back to LaTeX and build and run. There you go. So, this is how we create a nested list. Let us go back to our slides. Here is another example of a nested list. You may try it out. The numbering style of enumerate that we just saw was Arabic 1, 2 and 3. To change the style to Roman or alphabets, we need to write the style in the box bracket after the enumerate environment as shown here. We also need to include the enumerate package. Let us see a demo.
let us add the package enumerate and change the style of Arabic 1 and 2 of sky blue and Firuza to something called as round brackets A. So, that we have alphabets A and B, we build and run. Observe that the numbering has changed to alphabets and it is separated by round brackets. Let us change to Roman and separate the item using a full stop. Come here, we delete, we write Roman number 1 and full stop. We build and run, voila. The numbering is changed to Roman. Let us switch back to our slides. As one can change the style of numbering, one can also change the style of bullets to diamond, square, circle, hyphen, etc. The syntax is a bit different than that of enumerate. The command here is slash renew command slash label item followed by the level number and the style in curly brace. Here level number denotes the nesting level. Note that we also need to include a package called AMS symbol. AMS stands for American Mathematical Society. Let us see a demo. We come and we include the package slash use package AMS SYMB. Now, let us add the renew command slash renew command slash label item i that is the first level and we write in dollar bracket we write in dollar slash diamond we write slash renew command again we write slash label item level 2 and we write dollar slash black square. Let us build and run. Observe that level 1 is changed to diamond whereas, level 2 is changed to black square. Let us go back. You can try out the other styles as well bullet c dot diamond hyphen asterisk circle etcetera. With the end of this session, you can now create different types of list, nest them, change the numbering or bullet style. Thank you, have a nice day.